What Would We Do Without Bees? by Lisa Trombauer. This is a non-fiction book with the essential question, How Do Plants Survive? Presented in three chapters. Let's begin. Chapter 1. Thank a Bee. Yum! These apples look good. How did they get that way? When apple trees' flowers are pollinated, apples grow. To make honey, a bee gets nectar from flowers. The tree and bee do not know why they do this. The tree just makes flowers and the bee just takes nectar. Apple tree flowers are like most other flowers. The parts of each flower have their own jobs. Petals have colors that attract bees. Pollen, seeds, and nectar are made in the center of flowers. A bee puts its head into the flower to get the nectar. Pollen from the flower rubs off on the bee. When the bee goes to the next flower, some of the pollen rubs off. The second flower is now pollinated. Chapter 2. From Pollen to Fruit Bees take nectar and pollen back to their hive. Bees fly a long way to find the right kind of flower. They search far from their hive. Pollen from one kind of flower can only pollinate the same kind of flower. Pollinated seeds grow fruit for a reason. The fruit grows around the seeds, which protects the seeds. An apple keeps the small brown seeds inside safe. Someone may eat the apple and spit out the seeds. Now the seeds land on the ground. Now new trees can grow from the seeds. But it all starts with the apple. And to get more apples, you need to have bees. Bees help us get other kinds of fruit, too. What do you see when you walk through a fruit market? You may see lemons, cherries, and peaches. Watermelon pears and blueberries are yummy, too. Without bees pollinating these delicious fruits, our fruit market would be empty. Chapter 3. Keeping Bees Beekeepers are people who take care of bees. They place their hives near flowering plants and trees. The bees gather nectar and pollen from the flowers. Inside the hive, the bees make honey. Beekeepers take some of the honey, but the bees don't mind. They just keep doing their work. They find flowers and come back with nectar and pollen. Soon the busy hive is filled with sweet honey. Beekeepers need special equipment. A beekeeper suit is made to keep bees out. A special hat with a net keeps bees off the beekeeper's face. No one wants to get a bee sting. Beekeepers wear this suit when they need to work on the hives. Farmers like having beekeepers nearby. They need bees to pollinate their crops. The bees spread pollen from plant to plant, then seeds grow. Fruit grows around the seeds. If there were no bees, we would not have apples. Without bees, we would have no blueberries. And we certainly would not have honey. So the next time you eat one of these tasty foods, thank the bees.